Our prophet sallallahu warned us about these days. These are the latter days. We don't know when the end of time is coming. Some of them thought it would be at the end of the 15th century for the Muslim Ummah. Allah knows. We don't know. But it won't be for a while because the atheists win in this world. They lose in the next world, but they win in this world because the end of time doesn't come until there's nobody left to say Allah. And that's in the hadith. So we, as long as we're saying Allah, there's good in the world. And I'll tell you, this happened to me recently. I, I, I was in the Vatican. I've been part of an ethics committee at the Vatican for the last two years, going every few months. And, and I learned a lot. But one of the things that really struck me this time, I, went, I was in the Vatican and I went. And one of the things about the Vatican, if you go there, you see all these people, they're just, they're walking around like this. And they're, they're looking at like Michelangelo's paintings and... And it really struck me that I didn't see a lot of people doing devotion. It, it was like, and then I went immediately after that to Medina. And I was so amazed. Despite this ummah, we, we have so much ignorance in our ummah, but there's still so much devotion. And it's just amazing. You, think, you get up at 2.30 and you think you're going to find a place in the Roda. It's already full because people got there before you. Every five prayers, you just see these floods of people going. You see people weeping. You see tears flowing down people's ideas. <coughs> you see people doing khatam. It's just, it's stunning. <coughs> Excuse me, to see the devotion in our ummah. Our ummah is still alive. It still has a heart. And, and we're still the people of Allah, inshallah. May Allah continue to bless this ummah with and restore our knowledge, restore sanity to our leaders, wherever they are and whomever they are. The Prophet ﷺ said to Imam Ali when he asked him, the Prophet said that, Yati nas zaman. He said the time will come when it's, there will be fitan layl al muslim There will be fitan like a portion of a dark black night. And they asked the Prophet ﷺ, he asked him, مَا الْخَلَاصُ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ How do we get out on that day? And the Prophet ﷺ said, كِتَابُ Allah." This is an extraordinary hadith that Imam Tirmidhi relates. At the end of time, he said, cling to the book of Allah. وَعَتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا We were told not to be sectarian. This is a commandment from Allah. It is haram to fall into sectarianism. This is a commandment from Allah. And call people to unity. Call people to unity. Really. So this is important to call people back to the book of Allah. It has news of what went before. It has news of what's coming. It's something, it's a criterion. It's not a light. It's heavy. It's not heavy. It's the habl of Allah. It's the rope of Allah to cling to. It's the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's His light. Jaqum min Allahi nur. This is a light that's come from God. It's a light. It's the straight path. It's the wise reminder. It's the one that people will not go astray in their appetites with it. Their tongues will not become diverse with it. Their, their, uh, their opinions will not become ambiguous with it. This is the book that its wonders will never cease. This is the book that when the jinn heard it, they said, we heard a wondrous book. This is the book that the one who call, the one who speaks by it has spoken the truth. The one who calls to it is rightly guided. The one who acts according to it is rewarded. And the one that clings to it will have salvation. Arikum bi kitab Allah. The his will take you 15 minutes maximum. Do a hizb in the morning and a hizb in the evening. Many of you read a newspaper for 15 minutes. Read the, t the eternities, don't read the times. Read the eternities, don't read the times. People spend, now if you have the latest iPhone, it tells you how much time you're wasting on the iPhone. Look at that and then ask yourselves, do you have 15 minutes for the book of Allah in the morning and 15 minutes in the afternoon? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide our ummah. May He restore the sanity of this ummah.